Welcome back to Briggs on Books. Our, our, we've been talking to people all over the world today about their books, Thailand, Scotland, India, and several authors from the United States of America, too. And it's just uh, great to see how we could share these books and art all over the world. And it's a great experience for me, anyway. Our next guest, I'm kind of excited to talk to him because uh, he has an incredible uh, book and another one coming out. B.G. Howard. Welcome, B.G. Hi, how are you? Yeah, now tell me, I just asked you, but uh, tell, tell our viewers where you're located. Uh, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Is that on one coast or the other? Um, East Coast. East Coast, I thought parts on the Gulf and parts on the uh, Atlantic Ocean, I'm never sure about where Jacksonville is. Um, now, you have some uh, interesting books. You've even got, won some awards, but let's just jump into this first book. It's the revised edition of Family Ties, uh, Thicker Than Water. Thicker Than Blood. <laughs> Thicker Than Blood, okay. I was telling uh, BG before we came on there, I can't see the screen. I can't see all the words up there. So it's Thicker Than Blood. What's it about? In short, a uh, young man from South Georgia, he undergoes some experiences that lead him to want to make a, a more change in his life. So he relocates to New York City and uh, he wants to, like I said, he wants to change, but he saves the life of a notorious crime figure, and that leads to a lot more than he expected. Wow! And did it make him a friend? Oh yeah, he 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 subsequently starts running the 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 crime figure. His name is Oz or Oswald, but he he starts running things for Oz. But things that become it becomes a little more complicated for him when he starts dating NYPD officer Ernestina Lady. That's a twist. That's a good twist right there. Now, uh, so they start in Georgia. Are you from Georgia? Originally, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, we see some places we know in Georgia. Is it made up, or are there real places and names in there? Well, the place where I the, the place where I originated is actually in uh, southeast Georgia, hmm. and the focal point of the, the 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 section of the story that includes his tenure in Georgia. Is he's from a small town outside of Valdosta. That's a real town. Yeah, um, Valdosta. That's a real town, not too far from my hometown. I'll be darn. Yeah, my cousin moved to Val. We said Valdosta. I don't know how how you say it, but <laughs> Valdosta. Well, we had, we had that southern twang, so it's Valdosta. <laughs> oh, so very good. Now he picks up and wants to change his life and goes to New York. That had to be some culture shock, I would think. Well, he had lived. It uh, similar to my story, uh, I was born in in in, in Baxley, born in, and lived in, grew up grew up in Baxley, Georgia. Um, I I actually did move to New York, wow. and I lived there for several years. Uh, so his 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 story sort of mirrors mine. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to understand because I had an accident in two thousand and one, and I lost my memory. Hmm. So I don't remember my life in New York, but the story, it runs along the same path as my life. Yeah. It's not an autobiography, but it, it, it does mirror. Now, does he end up in Manhattan or Brooklyn? He's actually in, uh, he lives, he's, he's living in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Um, his, his, his favorite place to hang out and where he lives actually is in, 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 uh, I forgot. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. He he he's in the village. Ah, nice. So he accidentally somehow saves a mob boss, falls in love with a New York police detective, and on goes the story. Now uh, a lot more complicated than you think. <laughs> I, oh, I bet. No, it's, I'm already intrigued by it. I, I love to read books like this. Now um, I have a picture here of an award. Did you win an award for this book? Yes, yes, sir. For the current title, I'm putting that um, it, up on the screen. Tell us about it a little bit. Well, in uh, November of this past year, the Distinguished Authors Guild (DAG for short) uh, they had their, uh, I think, it was their fourth annual Literary Awards, mm -hmm. and my book, the re revised edition *Family Ties: Thicker Than Blood*, was named Best Fiction of 2023. Wow, that is great. You know, I read and. 
awful lot of books and you know i'm always having to pick another book and it really helps if if the book has been distinguished with some kind of award or something it really helps me to pick my next book so i'm glad you brought that up and let us know about that now you're not done another book is coming out right yes sir um just got the just just finished the review of the the proof copy mm -hmm. but it will be family ties family ties to blood covenant and the planned launch date is for February the February the ninth. Yeah, just a couple of weeks or a month or so here. Now, let me ask you this: I, <laughs> I ask a lot of authors a lot of questions because you've done something a lot of us are trying to do. Not only did you write a book, you finished writing it, you put your pen down, and then took the next step of getting it out there and getting it published. Um, most people can't do that, and congratulations for getting that done. What's the process? The second book, when did you finish writing and when do you turn it over to someone else? In actuality, the, the both of the novels were completed in several years ago and I didn't know what to do with them. Um, but anyway, fast, fast forward eight years later, eight, nine years later, um, and someone took a, took a look at it and they said, you have to do something with this. Yeah. So the original... The original, the original manuscript, they do, they measure by word count. Mm, the average word count of a fiction novel is between eighty and one hundred thousand words. Okay. Mine tapped out at one hundred and seventy-seven thousand. So it's kind of long. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, so I had to, I had to divide, divvy it up, and, and make it a, a two part, two part, oh, two part nice, story. Oh, nice. So you had it all done, and you just needed to go through the process of getting it out there. Yes, sir. Did you have a I'm asking this for a lot of our viewers or writers trying to get to where you are. Did you have proofreaders? Did you have editors? Yes, sir. Um, I'm off, first off, I'm self-published, mm. so it all came out of my pocket. <laughs> it was a little more difficult than most people think, but um, I had went through a process, uh, and in that process, it was called a um, publishing school. Mm. Um, advisably, uh, don't go that route. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for that, but it did benefit me in the fact that they had um, assigned or suggested, I guess you would say, proofreaders, yeah. uh, cover designers, editor, you know, um, 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 uh, editors. So there was a team of people yeah. that they suggested I use, and I utilized them the first time out, and then. When I made the second, the second, the second effort, I just stayed with those same people. I developed a personal relationship with them, and I just stayed with them. Stayed with them, yeah. Now, uh, and just uh, not to pick on you, but I just want other people to say other people they're going through what you went through. You came out with the original version, and then you decided mm, I needed to be different. Well, not that I needed to be different so much as I needed to be complete. I see. Um, I, when I wrote the novel, it was more therapeutic than anything else. Um, it was, yeah. you know, following the accident and, you know, during the time I was going to rehab and physical therapy for eight years. Um, so it was, like I said, it was more therapeutic. And I just wrote. I had no plan, no outline, no mm -hmm. no direction. And I, I just wrote. And then when I finished the novel, I, I, I launched the first one in 2020. That was the original title, Family Ties Thicker Than Blood. And in 2020, when it launched, I went back and re 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 researched how to write a novel because I realized I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So I just you know, want our viewers to know, hey, you just got to do it. And sometimes you will make some mistakes, but you just keep going and get through them. And uh, B.G. Howard has two, uh, one out and another coming out in about a month. And, and good for you, B.G. By the way, um, I have your website up on the screen. What will people find at your website? Well, the website, honestly, is about more than just the novels. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a quintessential philosopher, I like to say. And there's a page, one of the pages on the website is called Points to Ponder. Uh, and the other is called uh, In the Gray Matter. Those are blog pages. In the gray matter, um, the content from that I write a I write a weekly opinion column for a newspaper back home in Georgia. Nice. So that's the content for in the gray matter, and the points to ponder. Uh, those are original philosophical quotes 
I've been writing philosophy since I was in grade school, they say. That's nice. But of course, I can't remember that. Yeah. It erased all that, huh? The accident? Uh, yes. Uh, the early... I'm sorry. Yes, sir. The earliest rec recollection I have, the accident was in August of 2001. Hmm. The re earliest recollection I have of anything is sometime around 2005. Wow. Um, now, if we go to your website, will we find some of those articles you've written and, and some of your philosophies? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can, the blog pages? Yeah. The blog pages in the gray matter and points to ponder. Points to ponder. I love that. I want to go. I'm going to go look at that. It's free to look, right? BG Howard. Oh, yeah. Go to the website, read some of that. I would like that. I always like to get background on authors and see what they're thinking on other things. They're signaling me, BJ, that we've gone way over time, but you're fascinated. I could talk to you for hours. Anything else you want our viewers to know before we're totally out of time? Well, as it concerns writing, um, just like conversation, you just start it, you follow through. Just sit uh, down. As far as, as just sit as, down as and get started. So I'm sorry. Say again. Uh, people need to just sit down and get started. So right. Just, just, just like a conversation. You just start talking. Just start talking. Then you can go back and change it around and clean it up. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I find you very inspiring, BG, uh, and mm -hmm. I look forward to reading the books. I'm going to start with the first one, the revised edition. In fact, I'm going to put it on the screen here one more time. Family ties thicker than blood. And then here, oh, here's an award, the award he won for it. And finally, here is the uh, uh, next book coming out in a month, Family Ties, uh, Blood Covenant. Yes, sir. Family Ties right. to Blood Covenant. Thank you so much for your time, BG. We want to have you back again. I would love to, love to join you on your platform. All right. Uh, we'll be back with more Briggs on Books right after this. Thank you, Mr. Briggs.